Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is the Search Buzz video recap. Today is Friday, December 22nd and this is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable at seroundtable.com over the past week. First up, lots of talks about that update that we talked about last week, which we called the Maccabee update. Um, Google somewhat confirmed that there were several search ranking updates, um, algorithm updates, they called them many and minor. So um, Google sent out a statement after they confirmed it for me at Search Engine Land, saying we released several minor improvements during this time frame, part of our regular and routine efforts to improve relevancy. Then what we had was Danny Sullivan go on Twitter and go through some of the coverage around that, calling this one update. No, it wasn't one update. Google said several updates. And he said the various reports out there that Google has a, an update to this to search last week. This is our statement saying that it was not, that it was not about a single update. Shares the statement. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit getting a little sick. In any given week, there are various changes that happen with Google search algorithm. Many are noticed, many are minor. Last week was like that. So basically, many were unnoticed and many are minor. <laughs> so the, um, after a few published reported changes, we checked and didn't see any major or single change on our end. Again, calling this update from last week very, very minor, uh, with, but there were several updates and they're constantly doing updates. Reporting this as a single update or calling it Fred or whatever is not what we actually said. There were several minor changes that happened as they routinely do with Parker Week. week. Um, so again, Google's somewhat confirming there was an update, but again, they're calling this specific update, you know, these specific updates, all minor, but many of them. So many minor updates. Um, and I did analysis of the Maccabee update, which is what I'm calling it, um, but there were, like, and I saw that actually, that there were several things that hit um, Webmasters. Um, and the main thing that I saw was uh, keyword permutations or like doorway pages. So sites targeting <coughs> destination subnames like, I don't know, cocoon vacations that have water parks in summertime. And then cocoon vacations um, that have water parks in wintertime or cocoon vacations. Again, all these different keyword permutations. And a lot of the sites that I reviewed, I collected about 100 plus, all these fake phone calls. Get a lot of these fake phone calls? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, um, there was basically a lot of these, um, a lot of these, uh, what's it called, um, sites were, were around that. I would say probably over 50% of the sites that I collected in my survey kind of fit that sample of Dory types of pages. But... There were a lot of other sites that kind of seemed more of the Fred model with low quality content, a lot of um, a lot of um, low quality content with affiliate links and a lot of ads, as well as those other sites that you know were kind of phantom related and so forth. So it seemed like there was a few things that happened um, that that these sites that saw <coughs> saw that they were hit that week um, that um, they saw. One is the keyword permutations issue, one was the friend related low quality content ads, affiliate links, and also phantom related stuff. So there was a lot of stuff going on, uh, but I believe there definitely was somewhat of a significant update, not at the penguin or panda levels, but something that was significant enough that uh, Google actually commented as well as uh, we reported about it. This morning in a Google Webmaster video from John Mueller, John basically said that um, if it was up to him, he would no follow all guest post links. Um, even the ones that you do at major sites that have great editorial staff, um, and even if you're a regular contributor, you, you post you know once a week on average or once a month, and you have a regular um, column there that you post, any links to yourself, he says you probably should no follow. Again, I don't know if this is a change in statement from Google, who basically in 2012 said, you know, high quality blog posts are fine; you can have links in them, uh, but low quality blog posts that are done just for the purpose of link building should not. John Mueller is basically saying at this point, he would go ahead and link, no follow all those links, even the high quality ones. Um, so that's a big, bold statement from John. Talking about John, he started, or Google started, doing what they call SEO snippet videos, um, short videos, uh, which remind me of the days of Matt Cutts doing his videos with Wiz, uh, where basically they're doing these short videos answering short questions or quick questions from the SEO community. So for example, is crawl delay ignored by Googlebot? A one or two minute video answering that. Are subdomains or subfolders, which one's better for SEO? A very short video answering that. So John is basically changing his shirt and sitting at a desk and answering these very short video answers in about two, three minute types of things, uh, which is pretty interesting to see and it's really nice, it's really polished. 
uh, much more polished than it looks like than the Mac Cuts versions. Of course, video producing has become a lot easier, a lot more sustainable, a lot easier, and a lot more uh, easier to do it. And they have a nice setup over here, as you can see. So I'm very looking forward to it. You can subscribe to those videos. They're called they're, they're calling them SEO snippets, um, and they're very useful. And I'm very very excited that Google's doing this. And I'll keep tabs of it, of course, if you guys don't want to. Google finally posted their webmaster tips around the mobile first index. <laughs> Nothing really new there from what we covered before. Um, again, still only a handful of sites that have launched. They are closely being monitored by the search team. It will be rolled out very slowly. There is still no timeline for when this will um, be completed. Uh, Google said you could check your log files to see if smartphone activity on Googlebot, uh, so the smartphone version of Googlebot is um, higher. And if it's much higher, then it's probably you're probably rolled over to the mobile first index. Um, you can also check to see uh, your snippets, and if they are using the snippets and cache and so forth from your mobile first if mobile website, then it's probably also switched over. But it's hard to tell, obviously, if you have a responsive site. And Google lists out a bunch of tips. Again, most of these tips are stuff we covered in the past. Definitely take a look at them if you're nervous about the mobile first index. Um, Google has now done two things around rich snippets. So rich snippets are no longer rich snippets, no longer rich cards. Now they're all rich results. Google has kind of standardized the name for what they're calling rich snippets, rich cards, so forth. And rich results, they're all being called now rich results, which is great. They hated the confusion around what you call them. So now they're all called rich results. And also Google has released a new, I guess, rich results testing tool um, that supports JSON, LD, microdata, RDFA. Um, and, but it only covers recipes, jobs, movies, and courses at this point. Google's going to add more types of support, and this is what it looks like. Um, it's a pretty neat tool. Definitely take a look at that, and I'm very glad Google's kind of standardizing what they're calling these rich results. Google's John Mueller posted the thing about uh, slashes and trailing slashes and how it impacts SEO, but it really doesn't really impact SEO, really, is how web servers handle uh, handle these slashes, and he basically did this grid here. So A equals B, C equals D in these examples. A is not C, A is not C, C is not E, okay? You got that? And trailing slash in the path file doesn't matter, so F is not G. Again, take a look at this. This is not really an SEO thing, it's more about how web servers handle this. Um, it's not a duplicate content thing, again, it's about how web servers handle this type of stuff. So definitely take a look at that. Uh, there was a bug with Search Analytics this week. Um, on the time frame of I think December 14th through December 18th, where if you filter down the search analytics report specifically for non, um, for AMP that is not a rich results, you'll see a decline in, in information. Google has some data issues. Um, it should go bounce back after the 18th, so hopefully you, you won't um, be missing a lot of that data. But again, AMP results with non rich results had an issue with search analytics reports. Um, sorry, I skipped this one. Google said um, they didn't find a uh, benefit or being that useful from crawling outside of the U.S. So crawling from the EU, like or London, or from Israel, or from Germany, or for from Canada, didn't really give them any benefit or useful benefit from crawling outside of the U.S. So Googlebot usually crawls from, you know, Mountain View, California, in the U.S. Um, so they've told us in the past, I think back in 2015, that they do offer the option of crawling within a specific locale. So Canada. UK, China, et cetera. And Google said they're, they didn't find that, that useful. They do find it useful for places like North Korea, which kind of block content and stuff like that, China, that block content. And they still do that for those regions so they can figure out what's um, blocked and what's not. Um, so um, it's very interesting to see that. But at the same time, Google say, for the most part, they probably stopped doing that. Um, it's no longer that valuable. Um, and they are no longer crawling from specific outside regions except for certain locations uh, that is an issue. Uh, Google said progressive web apps, PWAs, do not have an advantage in search. In fact, they might have a disadvantage because they're harder for Google to index. So somebody's been promoting that you should go PWAs because Google loves PWAs and thus Google loves PWAs. They have a ranking benefit in Google search. That is not true. John Mueller said no, it is not true. PWAs do not currently um, have a ranking benefit in Google. J John Mueller also said that Googlebot um, does need backwards capability for supporting IP version 6 and HTTP2. Um, it, it, you need to also support the IPv4 version 4 as well as HTTP1 uh, because Googlebot uh, kind of needs that. And most of these setups do support the backwards capability or compatibility 
on that front anyway. Google has finally published their new SEO starter guide, um, but as I discussed last week, but it's missing st- content around speed, page speed, and HTTPS. It does mention it slightly, but there's no categories just for page speed or just for HTTPS, uh, which makes people wonder how important those are. And again, over the years, Google has said they are less and less important. Google is testing again the fave icons in the search result snippets, something we saw in the past as well. Um, here's a screenshot. You can see the little fave icons here. Whoa. Google AdWords is is testing placing images from the landing page automatically in the search ads. So here's an example of that. Google says they're constantly testing. Uh, There was a report out that, um, sorry. Google, uh, so we cover that. There's a report out that um, from, uh, what's it called, uh, Parsley, that finally Facebook has dropped and is no longer the number one site for sending referral traffic to websites on the internet. It's now Google. And you can see that the change happened somewhere um, here in uh, May, June. And now Google's way ahead of uh, Facebook in terms of sending referred traffic to websites, which is interesting. And Eric Schmidt, the... CEO of Google back in 2001 through several years, then became the executive chairman of Alphabet, the company behind Google, um, is now stepping down from that role and is becoming a technical advisor to the company while continuing to serve on the board. Um, he won't be replaced by a um, um, another executive chairman who will be replaced by a non-executive chairman. Um, but he's stepping down. Um, I guess he's been doing, doing a great job for the past 17 years, and it's time to move on from that role. Um, there's Eric Schmidt overseeing the Google founders, Sergey Brin and Larry Page, um, and it's a big milestone for Google. Finally, we'd like to thank and honor the very, these following SEOs and SEMs in the industry. Um, Doc Sheldon, Michelle Robbins, Jim Boykin, Mary and Dave Davies, and... Cindy Crom. Thank you all, and we, we thank you for all your contributions to the SEO community. In any event, thanks so much for listening to the Search Buzz Radio Recap. My name, again, is Barry Schwartz. Today is December 22nd. Everyone have a happy and healthy holidays, and I'll see you guys. I'll be probably producing this next week as well, so everyone have a great week, and I'll see you guys next. Bye.